Today we are going to practice another game that can help us practice our place value and help us practice adding by tens and by ones. For this game, all you'll need is a dice and either a piece of paper and something to write with. So this game is called 101 and out. So in 101 and out, the purpose of the game is to be able to get to the closest to 100, but if you reach the number 101 or higher, then you're out of the game and you lose. So um, in order to set up this game, I like to just quickly draw a grid because you are going to have um, six rolls. So this is a game that you can play with um, either a partner or you can have two teams, but each team has to roll the dice six times. And at the end of your sixth roll, you want to be the closest to 101. So, um, you have just team A or team B or partner A and partner B. Um, and each time you roll the dice, you are going to choose if you want that number to be in the ones place or the tens place, and you'll keep a running total until you get to the end, and you will see who is the closest to 100. So I'm going to show you how to play. I'll give you an example. If I was team A and I rolled the dice and I got a six, Ooh, six is a really, would be um, 60 if I put it in the tens place or six if I put it in the ones. And I'm going to go ahead and use that as a ones place. So I'm going to put a six. Now, if I was team B, they would roll the dice and they just roll a two. And ooh, I can either have that as a two or as a 20. And I want to put that as a 20. Then uh, player A would roll the dice and they rolled a one. Now they only have six. And so instead of doing, they can choose one or 10 because it's a one. I'm going to choose one or a 10. So six plus 10 is going to be 16. And now it's team B's turn and they're going to roll the dice. Ooh, and they rolled a six. Now, if I made that 60, 60 plus 20 would be 80 and I still have four more rolls that I have to do. So I'm going to leave that as a six and do 20 plus six is 26. And then the first person would roll and four. Ooh, they can either do four or 40. I'm going to choose 40 because 16 plus 40 would be 56. And then the next team would go and ooh, a two can either be two or 20. Now I'm at 26. So I'm going to make that 20 and 26 plus 20 would be 46. Team A would roll a dice and they rolled a three. Ooh, they can either make, if I added three, it would be 59. And if I added 30, it would be 86. I think I'm going to make that 30 so that I can be at 86. I'm getting close to 100, but I want to make sure I don't go over. Then the second team would roll and ooh, three. So that can be three or 30. Now where I'm at 46, I think I'm going to make that 30 so that I can be at 76. Now team A is going to roll the dice and they rolled a one. That can be a one or a 10. Ooh, I want that to be a 10. Um, that puts me at 96, which would be really close to 100. Um, I'm going to put it, or I could do 87. I'm going to put it at 96. I'm going to hope that I don't go over 100. Then team B, 76, is going to roll. Ooh, and they got a 5. Now, this um, is an easy one because if I have 70 and I add 50, I'm going to go over a hundred and I would automatically lose the game. So I am just going to add five, which will make my number 81. 
And then team A is going to roll the dice. And I really hope I don't go over 100. Oh, no. I rolled a 5. So that means that I am 101. And I just lost because I went over 100. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll for team B just to see what number they got. And they got 4. So it would be 85. This team right here would be the winner because they got the closest to 100 without going over.